so i'm thinking this is cute this is great but is this yeah this is pretty but i will be looking delectable edible it's beautiful elegant as we know there are different types of dates you know their friendship dates their hangout dates their casual dates and their like more formal dates you know and you're looking at the venue if it's a surprise i don't think there's anything wrong with trying to find out hints of where you could be going so you can dress appropriately so obviously you're going to choose scents that are appropriate for the outfit you're wearing the location or the area you're going to and you know what kind of vibe or what kind of people are going to be there and how long the date is gonna go for you know if it's your first date is it your second date is it like you know a person you've been in a long-term relationship with we are not wearing certain perfumes for first dates before we get into the perfumes that I have selected for your date night scents there are important rules that I think I should mention when you're going on a date one remember to be kind to yourself be compassionate with yourself don't be so hard on yourself have a positive mind but don't be overly hung over on this is the one you know dates are meant to be fun go into it with a mind frame that this is an adventure be positive that you're gonna go have fun maybe have a little prep talk with a friend of yours you know some girl time and kind of discuss do's and don'ts and expectations and non-expectations to kind of go with the flow and to help you kind of get ready you know i'm not gonna go into too much details uh, in this video because it's not about dating you know what that's a conversation for another time let's just discuss some perfumes that you could possibly wear on this date night um depending on what kind of woman you are oh man externally I'm very feminine, um, so I like to dress like that. I like to feel that way. I will wear fragrances that are less masculine, less unisex and more feminine. But there's some people who are not as feminine as me, so they would want like unisex scents or a little bit more masculine feminine scents. I will suggest a few of those as well. I will try to keep this list very short, but it's very hard when I have so many perfumes that I love and that I'm trying to list perfumes that will cater a group of us, you know, all different types of women. Without further ado, let's get started. Seems like to me, I tend to like perfumes that have blood orange sandalwood vertiver when i'm talking sexy you know date nights for myself specifically and i know that learn to d rouge by givenchy this particular one has those notes in it and it's a grown woman sexy i feel like the bottle just tells you what it smells like really and to me it smells like sweet suede you know um it has that edginess that roughness to it but it's very sexy it's like how when you smell leather it's sexy and masculine this is more soft but a bit rough and sweet it's really weird i hope you understand what i'm saying but it's like smelling suede and sweetness that's it i think it'll be a great date date scent um, for when you're wearing heels when you're wearing heels because it's like I'm dressed up type of scent you know I'm dressed up it's not wearing flats you know on a date type of scent it's definitely in this list and I think try it and let me know if you agree it is a date night scent let's leave it at that in the same category as an option for someone let's say you don't own learn to de rouge if you own coco noir you can wear this one on that same date this is a dark rose this is a little black dress type of scent this is like <laughs> like a high cleavage <laughs> type of scent and okay first of all here's the rule that i always follow myself if you're going to show your cleavage make sure you're wearing something long 
to cover your legs if you're gonna show your legs have something that covers your cleavage like not all the way but you know decent up here only show like one thing at a time don't overdo it I don't do legs and cleavage that's too much especially first dates first couple of dates like no so you know we trying to keep it classy and this is a little black dress type of scent so this is like a short dress or long dress but heels and definitely really dressed up we're, we're not casualing this one if you watch my valentine's day um perfume suggestions and unless you're like dating a, a bikey you know and you really want to go that way and you're wearing leather and you're just very edgy looking then yes wear this one it's definitely a date date type of scent also you need to assess the type of person you're going on a date with some of these scents are not as likable and you want to smell likable especially in the first couple of dates you you don't want to all show your whole cards all at once you know and be extreme you ease them into your extremes don't let all your colors show yeah if you're going on a date with somebody who's most likely going to be wearing loafers and, or velvet and he's very classy and somewhat expensive then yes you're wearing coco noir but if he's taking you somewhere else that is not classy like that there's no reason for you to be wearing coco noir because this is not cheap and we don't wear perfumes like this for cheap dates we don't do that my next suggestion here is portrait of a lady portrait of a lady is almost an acquired taste okay this is maturity this is a mature lady on a date this is late 30s and above type of date scent um it's a animalic rose okay and it's not easy to wear but it definitely smells beautiful on a classy mature lady and i wear it obviously but when we're talking in dirt in date terms this would be a wonderful date this is like a late afternoon to evening type of date scent it, it can take you from like 5 4 30 p.m all the way to night type of date it's great if you have not tried it do that and i'm picturing a really classy lady who's into quality not as many logos you know very understated um chic like she wears real leather she wears real diamonds she gets her hairstyle like she's very classy you know neat that's portrait of a lady like a lady dior addict is a beautiful vanilla scent a mature vanilla scent oh and it keeps smelling sweeter and sweeter each year i try it basically it's just the right amount of sweetness and vanilla and creaminess and and floral in there to make it sexy feminine clean seductive like you can use this in so many different situations like oh this is when you're showing your skin your upper body skin like when your shoulders are exposed when you've got cleavage so you've got like a singlet like dress you know and this is great if you're wearing like satin or, or silk it almost smells edible but not quite because vanilla is really like desserty kind of thing you're definitely dressed classy because you're not wearing flats for these perfume okay definitely not wearing flats you're wearing heels you're looking elegant this blue this beautiful elegant bottle dress appropriately for the scent you're selecting or select the scent that is appropriate for what you're wearing that's all I'm gonna say and this is likable definitely so this next scent is in the same category as Dior addict you guys know I love this this is her by Zadig and Voltaire sandalwood sweet goodness okay so the same date you would consider wearing dior addict is the same date you would consider wearing this is her i don't know i just love this um this is this type of date is when 
you want to smell enticing whether you're gonna end up kissing at the end of the date or not but he's definitely gonna think about it he's gonna come in for a hug with these scents he's just gonna want to come in your personal space because you just smell really delicious again like i said with dior addict when you're wearing like a singlet dress or like a silk satin oh your your shoulders are exposed you've got a little bit of cleavage going on and you spray this directly on your skin maybe you know and you're glowing you're obviously glowing because you've got some nice body oil and you spray this directly on your skin and you're obviously glowing and you're nicely moisturized so this top up oh oh anyways i love this so moving on to the next scent you guys know this is a new addition to my collection this is ember rouge by orientica the dry down is not too sexy that it would be like an intimate date type of scent this is sexy but we're not overdoing it you know the dry down is a little bit minty fresh not mint because i don't like mint i wouldn't wear anything with mint but i compared this scent to baccarat rouge extrait but that's just the initial spray the dry down is a tad bit different from um baccarat rouge extrait i like the dry down for this as a date scent as a date night scent where you're outdoors or even if you're indoors but you're not doing anything way too intimate this is lovely give it a try it smells cherryish oudish and sweet i wouldn't say wear something too different or too unique on your first couple of dates because we don't know this person's tastes yet we don't want to torture them with a scent that is unlikable especially when we just met you know or we've been dating once or twice we've been on a date twice and already i'm i'm bringing out a, a suffocating perfume no no you know you need to ease people into your extremes because we all have extremes <laughs> So, Oud Bouquet is beautiful if you know who the type of person you're going on a date with. This is not a simple guy going on a date with type of scent. No. This is not like going on a date with Mark Zuckerberg or do I want to say nerdy? Look, <laughs> listen, they're not going to appreciate Oud Bouquet because... They're gonna be like, you smell like smoke and something. No, they're not gonna like it, okay? Um, he just seems like a simple guy. So if you're going on a date with a simple guy, this is not for a simple guy. So really think through what you're about to wear. And you don't wanna wear this when you're going on a date with a masculine man because most of the time, like with a man with a masculine temperament, you want to be more feminine because I think they would want like the opposite of them. So this is not a scent you wear for an Aries man, for example, you know, because you're smelling unisex, almost masculine. Actually, very masculine with this Oud Bouquet. So this is, no, okay. Oud Bouquet is for the kind of man that is into fragrances, one, okay? Um, so he'll be aware of, you know, what kind of woman you are. If you're wearing this, you don't have to explain that, you know, it's oud and it's expensive and it's no. And if you're going out with a Middle Eastern man, easy. Go ahead and wear oud bouquet, you know? So consider those things. Let me suggest some scents that are unique but doable for dates. Like I said, play it safe for the first couple of dates. Don't, don't go too wild too extreme too different we don't want that but i think these ones are a happy medium if you're trying to smell unique but in a safe way roses barbaranza would be perfect because it's a lovely boozy rose and you know it's likable but it's intriguing like hmm okay okay you know when you go to your friends and you might ask one or two and say what do you think of this perfume that i'm about to wear on this date 
and they might suggest perfumes that they've worn on dates and that have worked for them and the guy has liked how they smelled but you're not dating the same guy that doesn't really apply this is why i'm suggesting certain perfumes for you to consider because you need to think about what kind of guy you're going on a date with where you're going okay because if it's gonna be a car date you're in the car watching a movie you know how this works projective screen blah 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 you are not going to be wearing heavy oud bouquet when you're just chilling in the car you can't ask your friend to suggest scents she wore when she went to a beach date not the same thing not the same thing not the same date not the same man either anyway when we're going for unique we still want to stay safe in the safe zone we don't want to annoy his nostrils all night now rose's barbaranza is beautiful it's nice for a restaurant environment it's nice for an outdoor environment and you can wear it in a closed space environment but go light on the spray don't go heavy on the spray he might be allergic to the perfume you're wearing so this is why i'm saying don't go heavy go light go easy unless you really know the person you're going on a date with you are well acquainted with his tastes and his allergies and all those things there's a lot to consider like i said i'm here for you if you need help just let me know in the comment section or dm me and i'm here for you okay um and we can bounce ideas now amouage journey is unique but it's not annoying i'd say it's for a mature person i'd say mm, mature <laughs> 35 is not mature but anyway 35 and above you can wear amouage on a nice classy date you know and don't go heavy on it either because it's it's unique it's uni it's different and we don't know him yet you smell grown but adventurous so i think you guys know what type of scents i would wear on a date night and this is definitely one of them lyra because it's sweet you know it's desserty smelling but it's also grown up it's inviting and it's lovely i would wear this sometimes i would mix as you know i mix my scents so i could wear a perfume and feel like mm, i'm feeling a kind of different vibe so i top up with something different this is elixir de Mave by hermes this is a lovely warm ember yes this is an ember this is a cold date night scent it's a great ember scent you know autumn is fabulous winter it'll be fabulous um it's just beautiful and not too heavy now just because it's a mess i just want to let you know it's not like super expensive don't get put off by the brand name a because we all know a is expensive and but you know i got you. you you do not have to sell your kidney to afford this okay you know these are the the easy buys from a mess their perfume anyway i love this so try it this is lanwit by Trezor. As you can see, I'm getting through this. This is a I'm sexy, I'm feminine, I'm classy, I know what I want. Open-minded type of scent. This is a intuitive woman, okay? Um, trust your intuition when you're on a date, but I have to say don't write him off right away Just because maybe there was no initial spark or anything like that. Why am I getting into that? I, actually, I think it's very important to know this Okay, just because there was no initial spark doesn't mean he's not the one just you know sit through it have an open mind and Continue to enjoy yourself. You don't have that initial spark with someone and then you give them a chance you have an open mind and you realize that you know it's the type of situation where the spark is slowly building up but you have to just be willing to be vulnerable a little bit on your date um be playful you know have fun let him feel good when he's with you okay so 
the way you're looking, the way you're smelling, the way you're talking, the way you're, you know, just listening to him and really being attentive to what he's saying. You have to be actively in the date to enjoy the date and to get the most out of it okay it doesn't mean you're gonna get end up married okay that's not the mind frame we're going into this date with he may not be the one but we're here for the an adventure for experience okay now you do want to put your best foot forward um, because you don't know maybe this date he might not be the one but then later you might run into his friend without knowing and you click with him but because you made a good impression to his friend on their day the first date then he's not gonna mind he'll be like yeah you're great with my mate you know let me know if you have those type of stories in the comment section because i'm it's like that like sometimes you meet people in passing and then later in life you realize oh actually that's my boss's boss's boss imagine if i was nasty to them <laughs> the first time i met him <laughs> you know so you want somebody to say nice things about you when they leave you we're getting towards the end of the date and i'm thinking if you're really serious about this guy one don't go home with him if you take this date seriously that's all i'm saying because it's it's a risk that you're taking you don't want him to think and you don't want to seem like that and it's always good to form a good foundation for a relationship and you don't want it to just jump to physical too early you know what I mean anyway I know I'm preaching but I just have to because I care you know now before we get to the going home situation let's let's talk about the bill I don't know the type of guy you're going on a date with i don't know his ethnicity i don't know his culture i'm just gonna suggest that you offer to split the bill at the end but we're hoping that he'll say no that's all right look if you offered to half the bill okay and he says no thank you then that's great you know green tick for him all right because what will happen is if you if he agrees and says yes pay half the bill then it's up to you to decide when you get home to think about it and be like do i really want to go out with someone who'll make me pay half the bill on a date he asked me on he asked me out and i'm paying for you to spend time with me and get to know me yes i'm getting to know you but you asked for the opportunity okay okay am i renting this is kind of a rent so if you're dating me don't expect for me to pay okay but i will offer because i'm a lady and i'm expecting you to say no thank you let me know in the comment section what you think about that but that's what i'm trying to say so now it's up to you if you would want to go on a second date with him because guaranteed because you offered to pay the first date and he let you pay half guaranteed the next day he's gonna expect you to pay half again you you think about that yourself and decide whether it's worth going on a second date or not for me it wouldn't be because I I can't if you can't afford to pay for my meal and it's not like we're eating together every day where I'm making you spend if you can't then you're not you're not <laughs> you're 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 dating the wrong person first of all okay if you can't afford my meals how are you gonna afford everything else this brings me to my next point respect your boundaries if you have set a standard okay and you just walk a certain way and you talk a certain way and you live your life a certain way don't lower your standards just for that person to be comfortable that's not what we do here okay because a guy will take whatever they you can give them they will just take it they know <laughs> no guy's gonna ask me to split the bill first of all because before we even get to that stage one i make sure they know who i am and what i'm about not aggressively i do it in a very sweet way and they know 
right? So now, if you wanna date me, there are certain do's and don'ts. Guys will happily go along with what the lady wants. They don't want things that take too much effort. Okay, so if you laid out for them and they know what to do, what to expect, even better, okay? So don't feel scared to show your standards. There's always someone out there who's willing to meet you there. So keep them there. Respect yourself, respect your standards first, and that teaches others how to respect you. Here I have Oud Saffron, it's beautiful. Instead of Oud Bouquet, wear this one instead. It's much sweeter and much more likable, but it's still thick, you know? Oud and sweetness. It's delicious, it's beautiful, it's grown. In my collection, I have many sexy perfumes. Baccarat Rouge is an easy pick as well. If you don't have too many selections of expensive quality perfumes, just get Baccarat or whatever best bottle you have and wear that. If it's likable, if it's beautiful, then wear it, okay? And this is an easy pick. Tresor Midnight Rose is beautiful. It's a nice, clean rose. It's an easy pick as well if you already have that in your collection. There's so many more. If you like, I can list some in the description as well that are honorable mention. But yes, just have fun, look beautiful, feel beautiful when you're going out on a date and you know bring out your best self be happy be playful be fun be great to be around bring the right energy you know and they'll be attracted to that and hopefully somebody coached them on how to bring the right energy too okay because we don't want those questions like what do you bring to the table on the first date especially goodness 2022 is insane this decade is just silly with some of these rules. If a man's asking you what you bring to the table, that's already a red flag right there, okay? I don't care what anybody says, but if you're asking me on a date and you're asking me again what I bring to the table, then you must be confused somewhere, somehow. You came to me, 